Saturday morning and I've got all these blisters buffed out. I got them dried out and sanded. I'm gonna do just a little bit more sanding. I'm gonna be filling these in with an epoxy base. Epoxy and put a layer of Oh, Freddie, help me do this. Put a layer of uh, fiberglass all down the front of the keel there. So we're gonna sand, sand that down. There's some hair hanging off. And then once I get all these blisters filled in, start with the bottom coat. Pretty excited.
got a Simrad WP5000 and I finally got power to it. I had to track, chase down the fuses. And I've got my electric motor, my servo. It works. And I've got it set. I'm on the hard, so I'm not in the water, I'm not moving. And every few seconds it turns. But I can't figure out what's making it turn. How does it know how to adjust? It's keeping it where I set it. And I can hit my adjustment buttons. And it'll go both directions. But I haven't figured out what makes it tick. How does it know? Where's the brain? Is there a compass in here? Paint lady. Paint lady's here. Yay. Pink fence, up, down, up, down. Wax on, wax off. Oh my god, that's gorgeous.
blocks now, or I mean on the trailer, to get it off the blocks. So that I can come in here, that patch, that patch. And that patch. Then I'm going in the water. Here we go. There's the old beast. Put it in the sling and dump her there. That's it. I haven't left port five minutes and I already fucking bottomed out. I'm 100 feet from there. Fucking depth thing doesn't even work now. It said six and a half feet. I'm a three foot depth. I'm 300 yards from there. But I'm not complaining. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get out of here. Just wait on the tide. Now I've gotta look up and see if it's high tide or low tide, because I really have no idea. But it'll be dark in an hour or so. Let's see. Okay, it's 
day one, December 14th. I shoved off about an hour and a half, two hours ago. And I've been going up this channel, and this is the <laughs> probably the biggest clusterfuck of any first day ever. Every time I tried to cross over to get into these little coves, there's these little islands. There's one there where they dredge the channel, which is over there. That's north. That's south. There's an island. There's an island. And then there's this cove I want to get to. But all along here, it gets shallow. Three and a half feet, which is my depth. And I've dragged the bottom like four times trying to get through it. Searching over here, over there, the next one, the next one. And I finally gave up. I got the wind coming out of, I guess that's the northwest. This is the bow and not use the rear anchor. I know that's totally, totally, totally fucked up. Stupid. But my depth finder, I don't know what to think of it. It's kind of like the family court. It gives me a lot of some mixed signals and I don't know what to think about it. But I do know that I'm in relatively shallow water for sailboats. My boat is very, very shallow. So I know there ain't gonna be bigger boats than mine. They're certainly not gonna be really, really big motor boats. I think a bass boat would be about the biggest thing that might come here. I've got my rear light on and when I was on the hard, I had my steaming light on and is it on now? I can't tell if it's on or not. I've gone to the very front and I can't tell, but that's the first mosquito I've seen out this far. That's one nice thing about being out here is there's no mosquitoes other than that one. But this is strange. I didn't plan it this way. It's not bad. I've just got an utter, complete fucking mess. But that's okay. I'll, uh, there's certain things I just couldn't do when I was on the hard, and I did everything. The bottom held great. The bottom was fine. The engine works well. I had some engine trouble. That's why I'm kind of covered in shit. I had some air in the line, and I had to bleed all the air out, and I couldn't quite figure it out. It took me about 30 minutes. Thankfully, Fred helped me. Fred sent me a bunch of pictures he took from the dock as I was leaving, and I haven't even looked at them yet. But this is my new channel. I'm going to document the good, the bad, and the ugly about everything I do with sailing. I'm a complete novice, but I'm really excited about learning. I'm not stupid, contrary to my, what my haters think. Oh my God, there's a dolphin. Did you hear him breathe? Can get him or not. That is just so fucking cool. Where you at, little buddy? Come on. He was headed that way. He popped up about, about 50 feet on the other side there. There he is. Man, I hope I got that on camera. I've got my camera turned around the other way, so I, I'm not sure. That alone is worth all these screw-ups. I don't even care. I know I'm doing everything not exactly right, like I would probably fail, but I'm alive and I've not lost anything. I did get my engine running. That happens to be my only specialty in this. Again, Fred helped me with that, so Mr. Fred, thank you very much. If you ever see this. Ah, oh, there he goes again. Yeah, this is me not complaining. Simply documenting. I think I'm out of the danger zone, the, the channel is at least half a mile that away, at least. And it's not very wide, if, and it's only about 12, 15 feet deep there, so I know there's, I'm not going to end the way of any traffic. There's no hardly any boats out here anyways. Every day I come out here to drink coffee with my dolphin buddies, I hardly see any boats. So, For safety reasons for myself and for others, I think I'm it could be a lot worse, I'll put it that way. So, signing off for now. Those dolphins are so fucking cool. I just want to pet one of them. <laughs> it's December 15th and I just woke up. 
after sleeping literally 10 hours my very first night in my boat and this is what I woke up to this is like out of a dream I cannot believe what I'm seeing here the fog is just gorgeous Currents are so strange. Some places they're moving fast and some they're not moving at all. <laughs> so anyways, the boat is a complete mess, but that's okay. I finally got rested and today I'm going to, if it stays calm like this, finish putting up my sails and cleaning up the boat and talking to the dolphins and starting my coffee on my little kettle immediately. Okay, I got coffee made. All the grinds are nicely mixed up in the bottom because I'm too cheap and I've actually adapted where I don't even need a coffee filter anymore, maker. I just dump the grinds in, let it sit for about, after it's boiling water, about five, 10 minutes gets down to about 150 degrees perfect all the grinds fall to the bottom um, I only ran my my uh, steaming lights my whatever that rear lights called plus my fan and charging my phone on that after 10 hours and the engine fired right up after about the fifth try it stayed running it died the first four or five times fifth or sixth time it's just idling so I'm gonna let it idle for about 15 minutes and I'm just gonna assume that's gonna charge the batteries up just fine and try it again tonight again running bare minimum electricity to see how it works but for now this is my view and I am enjoying it this is so much better than the Texas jails thanks to Drex for having me give me something to compare this to and Ken Paxton welcome to prison because you're going all right it's lunch time I got the uh, I got my jib up shit there it is finally figured out how that thing goes and it's noon so I'm going to have to go ahead and cook me an omelet getting rid of some things because I have to throw away my mushrooms and my the rest of my spinach. I've only had them not even a week and they went bad, so that lets me know I need to start eating that stuff more quickly. So I'm gonna cook this up, pre pre cook some uh, boiled some potatoes. Since I was boiling the water, went ahead and made extra. Well, my omelet turned in to be more like a stir fry. I had too many vegetables, but oh well. Now, I'm just wondering what the poor people eat now. <laughs> That's a joke. I've been poor most of my adult life once I lost all my businesses because of the lovely family court. And when I pick up the kids in the camper, I always made sure whatever little money I had, we had good food and plenty of it. And I'd cook whatever it is I was cooking and living the four of us, the five is the four kids and me in a camper, I would joke, that gum kids, so they're loving it. Dang, this is good dad, this is good dad. So that gum kids, I just wonder what the poor people eating. 